Good Wednesday morning. I'm Guy McPherson of GuyMcPherson.com, otherwise known as Nature Bats Last, and providing a science update today. Six days ago, I was in a Zoom meeting, and uh, some uh, a relatively young person, younger than me anyway, asked me a question. He's a math major. He's an undergraduate student as a math major, and he asked me a question about the periodicity of extinction events. And I didn't laugh out loud, but I thought it was kind of strange. I'd never heard of any evidence for periodicity referring to mass extinction events. Then as soon as I got off the Zoom call, my news feed opens up and, sh and shows me this from SciTech Daily. Researchers discover that global mass extinctions of land-dwelling animals follow a 27 million year cycle. I'm like, wait, a cycle? And sure enough, I looked into it and I tracked down the open access paper published in Historical Biology, published by Rampino and colleagues. Regular followers of this channel might recall that name, Rampino. He was a senior author of a paper co-authored by Shen and published September 5th, 2019, in the same journal, Historical Biology, pointing out a, a newly discovered mass extinction event. So that was the seventh for a while, and as I reported at Nature Bats last at the time, on January 9th, 2020, this the scientific discovery has added a previously unknown mass extinction event. There could be more, and sure enough, there was another one that was found later that I refer to as the eighth so far. So this paper in Historical Biology by Rampino and colleagues indicates that there's approximately a 27 million year cycle for land-dwelling animals with respect to mass extinction. And they point to a couple of hypotheses, i.e. candidate explanations about that, why that might be the case. I found this was interesting and a little humbling because it, it took an undergraduate math major to point out to me something I had no clue about and points to what could be a, a cosmic trigger of some type behind the periodicity of mass extinction events. So in my opinion, it's well worth reading this open access journal, Historical Biology, and in particular, the paper about the 27 and a half million year underlying periodicity. There's a link at guymcpherson.com corresponding with today. And so you can just go to that link from December 16th, and I, you will be able to track down this open access paper and give it a read of your own. Thanks for staying tuned. We'll produce another one of these science updates in about a week. Mm -hmm.